Welcome back, beautiful angel, to Pound and Palmer Specialty Hypnosis Training and the Australian Hypnosis Conference. So please get your tickets into this year's conference. The link is down in the description. So today I would like to show you how I explain anger to my clients. Now I'm not the greatest of artists. I'm not going to proclaim that I'm Picasso or anything like that. So please bear with me and use your imagination when it comes to my drawings. So when I have a client that's coming in that's having issues with frustration or anger or fury, losing their temper, one lady called it, um, she gets the fiddlesticks, whatever. At the end of the day, your brain only comprehends it as anger. It's just a matter of whether it's one drop of anger or losing control from anger. Your brain only processes it, processes it as anger. So this is what I do with those clients that are going through those angry and frustrating situations to help explain to them what is happening. Very, very simple. So I have my client in the room. I get out my piece of paper, my whiteboard, and I just simply say to them, um, and we're not, I'm talking metaphorically now, so that's what I'm doing. And I'm not going to say to them, hey, I'm going to explain anger to you. I literally have just said to them, let's just, let's just do a bit of a drawing. And I want you to answer some questions. This is not family feud. You don't have to press the buzzer and blurt out whatever comes out. All you've got to do is just process the information and really start to use your mind. Okay. And the client will agree because they're in a really good place when they're with you. So I say to my client, so let's just say we have a house and this is your house. This is your home. This is something beautiful that you are proud of. This is where you live and where your family live and they enjoy it. And the client will be agreeing and like, yep, okay. So, so this is your home. And all of a sudden your home is on fire. It's burning to the ground. Everything is burning to the ground. Everything you've worked for, everything that you've nurtured and cared for, and it's burning to the ground. What do you put on the fire in order to put it out? And the client will be like, well, I usually would, I'd ring the fire brigade or I'd put water, like I'd use water to put out, out the fire. And I'd be like, absolutely. You put water onto the fire so that way it starts to extinguish the fire. Is that correct? And they'll go, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I say, awesome. So let's just imagine now that that person that is on fire is now you and you're you're frustrated you're annoying you're burning up you 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 know you're really going through this fiery emotion uh what should we put on the fire in order to help you with this emotion and they just look at you like i i don't know it's like i want you to think about it for just a moment so we've got another person here and this person is also angry and they're shouting at you. They're really carrying on. That's adding more fire to the fire. Would you, would you agree? And they're like, yeah, that's true. I was like, okay, so same with the house that we've got going on here. So if we start putting more fire onto this house, <laughs> it's not going to save the house, is it? I said, all oh, your memories are going to be burnt. You know, it's going to end up really badly. It's going to be a horrible, horrible situation. And they'll be like, that is true. I said, so when you're going through these situations, whether it's somebody else that's in this angry zone or whether it's you yourself, you must use the opposite element. The opposite element. That's the only way to put out the fire. So for example, if the house is on fire, we put water onto the house. And then once we do that, we then get a product called called steam or, or, or ash, for example. So we get two completely different elements. We don't get more fire. We don't get more water. We get different elements, different outcomes. And this is exactly the same when it comes to you as an individual. So what is your opposite element to anger? What is your opposite? And allow the client to really stop and think about what is their opposite. Because some people's opposites are <laughs> totally what you wouldn't expect. So, for example, when my, when my partner gets uh, frustrated and really, really pissed off, he will jump onto a video game called Doom or something like that, and you'll kill a heap of monsters. And his opposite element of anger, because when he's in that angry mode, oh, hang on, I'll run over here. His opposite... Uh, element of anger because at the moment he's feeling he's it's uncontrollable he doesn't like it 
So his opposite is to go into that sense of control again where he can get it out of his system. So his opposite element is expression. And some people will express themselves with art, with music, with, um, you know, eating, unfortunately. But that's how he gains back control. That's his opposite element. So what is your opposite element when it comes to these angry situations that you're getting yourself in? And how can you start to act on those opposite elements? So once you feel that fire starting to burn up, you can recognize it and you can go, oh, hang on. This is not good. My opposite element is to go and be calm. And what do I need to do to do that? So once you find the opposite element for your client, that's when you can start amplifying all of the wonderful things they can do in order to gain this opposite element. Uh, one client I had, um, we called it walkout resentment. And that was her opposite element. And you think, oh, wow, resentment is a horrible element. So absolutely. So she was going through these angry phases. Her opposite was resentment, where she would get to a phase where she would just hate on that person. And I say to her, okay, well, let's just say your opposite is resentment. Let's make it something really healthy and let's get you moving. You keep saying you want to go for a walk and things like that. Every single time you start to feel this anger burning up, I want you to go for a walk around the outskirts of the office. And that's what she did. She started losing weight. She gained back her power. You know, she's much, much happier now. And that's what she did. She's like, no, nah, I'm going to go and walk out my resentment. And that's all you do. So explain anger to your clients like that. Find the opposite element and then amplify how they can use that opposite element to extinguish the fire and amplify themselves. All right, my darlings, I will catch you in the future. Bye-bye.